Hey YouTube, Ed here, Top of Line Training. I uh, just want to do a uh, field test with this uh, Wicked Edge knife sharpener. And um, I got the, uh, today's Monday the 23rd, and I've, I received this Wicked Edge on Friday the 20th. So I played around with it for the past couple days, and now once I learned it, it, it only took a really about 20 minutes really to get the thing set up and uh, start using it. However, to use it in a, a such manner as, as I'm doing now, uh, fluid, uh, you know, it took a little practice, but you know, you don't have to do it in this manner, right? You can just do one side at a time how many strokes you want to do on each side, whatever. So let me get the camera readjusted, get everything set up, and um, we'll do the uh, field test on it. I'll be back in a minute. Hey YouTube, Ed here, Top of Line Training. Back with the uh, Wicked Edge field test. Um, I'm just going to do a quick review on what you receive with the Wicked Edge. You have the base unit itself. This is a graduated degree bar here where you can set your different angles uh, all the way from 15 to 30 degrees. You have the clamp itself. You have the um, depth key here, which you have, I'll zoom in on this later, but I'm just gonna show you right now. This is the depth key. It comes, it's, you can store it right here. It's got a little slot it stays in. And this is where you rest your knife blade, depending how th the thickness of your blade, it either goes to the top or the bottom set. But I, like I said, I'll zoom in on that later, get you a good, real good look at it. You have your guide rods for your stones, which your stones go on, do the sharpening. Then you have the uh, chuck key here, which uh, it's like a hex nut or uh, Allen wrench, Allen nut, head screw, and you can tighten your uh, clamp or loosen your clamp. The unit itself comes with four stones. Uh, you have the red is 100 diamond, uh, 100 grit, the orange is 200 grit, then you have a yellow which is 400 grit, and then you have a green which is 600 grit. I also purchased separately this uh, five um, and three and a half strop, stropping uh, straps. The uh, three and a half would go first and the five. And it also comes with um, this sharpening paste, if you want to call it that. And one's green, one's like a yellow. And it go, the yellow goes on the brown, the green goes on the light tan. And then you have a few other moving parts here or separate parts, which you have the, uh, here is what they call an alignment tool. And the, um, the knife brace, which goes in here and the, your knife will rest here. However, this is, I don't even know if this is really necessary, but it came with it and uh, I'll go over it. You can see it's mounted on this uh, base here. You can get a granite base or this uh, sort of like Markita Mar Mar handle knives. It's sort of like that. It's just, it's, it look, to me it's probably some kind of press wood under here with this stuff on top of it. Uh, like I said, resembles my Markita uh, and uh, it um, I'm sort of glad I got it. It's a little heavy, holds the unit down. It's got rubber pads on the bottom. The unit just screws right into it and you know I can go just about anywhere with it uh, and use it. But you know this is not a field sharpener or anything. It's a home station workbench type unit. Uh, with that being said, let me uh, adjust the camera. We'll do a little zoom in here on some of the parts and um, 
I'll show you about how set and how you set up the knife and whatnot to get it going, get it sharpened. So stay with me, YouTube. We'll be back with you in a second. Okay, YouTube. Uh, what you're looking at is a profile view of uh, the Wicked Edge sharpener, and how this uh, setup goes is uh, you take out the depth key. And the depth key will be inserted either in the top or the bottom holes. And then what you'll do is, first of all, this is the back side of the sharpener. It's where the handle of the knife will go. And second of all, or secondly, you will um, get the uh, alignment tool. Now, I'm not 100% sure this is all necessary, but uh, come with it, so we'll just show you how it works. So you take the alignment tool into the slot, and then you will take the depth key and run it through, you know, if I can get it in there, hold on, let me get my glasses on so I can see. Um, okay, so you'll get the alignment rod or guy here, and it's got graduation marks on it from A, B, C, D, E, F, down to F. So then you take your blade and you put it, if it's a thin blade, like I said, you use the top slot. And you may have to loosen it up a tad bit. So then the knife goes in and what you're supposed to do is center the knife best as possible best you can um, in the clamp and then once you get it centered right and when you do that you keep the spine of the knife on the two uh, prongs of the um, depth, depth gauge and then you can move the knife back and forth to adjust to get it in the middle once you get it in the middle, then you make a quick adjustment to the nearest line on this uh, alignment tool. But like I said, I'm not 100% sure that this is even necessary. And that being said, it's sort of hard to get all this out of here and keep it in place, see how the knife felt. So what I have learned is I just line it up about in the middle and then I will tighten this down. Not too tight. It's very hard to to get to loosen this once it gets tightened. So the bottom's not too bad, but this top one, if you over tighten it, so you almost gotta get a pair of pliers to loosen it. So I just wanted to show you with the depth gauge and the uh, alignment tool how to use it um, so anyway once you get your knife lined up now the best way to do it is get your depth gauge put it in here rest it on there tighten it down pull the depth gauge out and now tighten it up So, this is what it would look set like set up in the, um, in the clamp and ready to be sharpened. So stay with me and I will get set up for sharpening in one minute. And, uh, I don't want to fool you by saying that this knife is dull and the reason why I was looking all over for a knife uh, for a dull knife and I really don't have one. Now I'm going to look at the kitchen knives in a minute and see if that one is dull. One of those is dull and maybe I'll sharpen that up. But like I said I've been sharpening two knives. This is a Kephart design knife by Condor. You can see it's pretty, pretty sharp. Let me put on my glasses so I can see this Thing. So anyway, what you do is, like I said, you have the four stones 
plus the straps. And I think there are two other grit stones you can buy separately um, if you that feel that you need them. Personally, I think this right here is more than enough. But anyway, it doesn't matter which side you start on. And like I said, you can do one side at a time. And basically what you do is once you find your angle, you rest the stone on the knife uh, edge and you go up and push it forward. And then you can alternate like so. I'm going a little slow here so it's a little sluggish. And one thing about the stones is brand new, they're a little rough. But once you start uh, working with them, they get broken in, if you will, and they start sliding a lot smoother and also sharpening um, with more efficiency. So anyway, I'm just going to do one side at a time for now. So... Per stone, however you want to do it, but in your transition, you just twist them around, and now you're with the 200s. So that is the 100, the 200, 400, and the 600. So now, just gonna run my finger. I'm telling you guys, that's razor sharp. You know, paper on it again, and I'm not pulling that at all. I'm just putting a little pressure on it, and it's just cutting right down, like so. Uh, and I'm gonna give you a profile view of all this as well. So now we'll move on to the stropping portion of it. So a couple things with the stropping. One. You want to make sure that you get all the debris that you just got done honing the knife with. Get it off of there. All the shavings, if you will. All the little burrs and little, not burrs, but little flakes of, of metal that you've taken off of the knife. So now, once that's done, now what I've been doing is, it's just me doing this part, is taking some alcohol. Let me get another uh, piece of uh, towel here. I don't see it. No big deal, just use this one. I've got a little bit of uh, alcohol on here. And I just rub it over the knife, clean it up a little bit. And now, ready for the stropping. So it's cleaned up, looks good. Now what they recommend with the stropping is I'll start off with the 3.5 and they recommend a little bit of uh, rubbing alcohol. Let me move this out of the way so you can see. Um, they recommend a little bit of rubbing alcohol on here um, before you uh, Put the paste on. So you're supposed to spray it on in a spray bottle. I've just been giving it a light uh, rub down here. And then what I do is I take the paste on one stone and try to run the length of it like so. Make sure you cap this back up right away. Then I get it and I rub it and make sure that the each stone has enough of the paste on each side of it so it's pretty evenly spread. Okay, so now there's the, st uh, the strops ready to go. And the same thing, you put the strops on the rod, guide rod, and you sharpen it basically in the same manner, however, when you do this, you don't want to come down. You want to keep going up the whole way. If you come down, you'll end up cutting your strop. You could cut it pretty bad, but you're probably going to end up getting a little nicks in it here and there anyway. But if you come down on the knife, it will cut the strop for sure. 
That being said, also, the reason why you want to clean off the uh, knife blade from all the uh, shavings and whatnot of the knife, you'll contaminate your strop if you don't do that. It'll, it'll, it'll get off through the uh, leather uh, and uh, then it's not going to work as good as it would if it was a clean piece of leather. So again, you're raising up and you're just going the whole length of the blade or the of the edge and going up like so. Just the whole way, you're just raising it up and you're, you're fine tuning that edge right now. From the 600 grit stone to the uh, two straps that I have here with the sharpening paste on it. Now, one other thing here, like I said, this, this rod here is your um, degree rod and it has degrees from 15 to 30 degrees. And <clears throat> how you can find your sweet spot, or what they call the sweet spot, or the proper edge, is you take a black marker and you put it on the edge and then you rub the lighter stones, one of the 400 or 600, mm -hmm. and you can look at where the uh, marker has been removed. And if it's uh, like too much on the top, then you have to move the knife blade back. If it's too much on the shoulder of the blade, uh, then you have to move the blade forward. And it explains that in detail in the directions. Um, and I'll show that here in a minute. But again, we're just, again, getting the strop on the knife edge. We're going up and forward. Sometimes with this thing, it'll, if you take it too far, it'll lock over. So you have to manipulate it around a little bit. I don't get it much on the left, but on the right, I have been getting it right like that. So, you know, you just have to play with it and try to get the feel. But anyway, so we continue on doing same amount of strokes on each side and I'll do three more total strokes with this three okay now I'll take the rods off and we'll do the same thing Let me set this piece of paper down sharpening bracket there. I've got some of this paste all over. Okay, let me uh, go ahead. What I'm going to do now, guys, I'm going to uh, get set up here, give you the profile uh, view of this. But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and um, show you a uh, how sharp this knife came out. So, uh, stay tuned. I'll be right back. Alright, YouTube, Ed, back with you. Top of line training. And I went ahead and uh, well, I took the knife out before, but um, I got some paper here. I'm just going to show you the edge it got. And then I have another knife I'm going to try to sharpen. So, But there we go, right there. Now, it already was pretty sharp. But you can see anything like this, you know, paper gets his gut knife doll pretty fast and I don't know. it's pretty sharp and I'm pretty positive that that would skin just about anything you want to skin make good feather sticks uh, whatever whatever the need and but the point is it's pretty damn sharp so with that being said I got the kitchen knife it's a Hinkley I'm going to see what kind of edge it has. Uh, it's cutting. As you can see, it's not sharp at all. So let me get this thing set up in here. And uh, I'll zoom in again. Let me get the camera right. And I'll zoom in, give you a good profile view of it. 
and uh, we'll see what we can do with the Hinkley and the Wicked Edge. All right, guys, Ed, top of the line trainer, back with you. Hey, make sure you uh, subscribe to the channel, share it. Um, trying to get my channel back going, uh, get back in gear with my channel, get things rocking and rolling. And I can only do that with your support. So I do appreciate you watching the video and subscribing. So if you could, please do so uh, before you go. So here I am, just going to start on the right side. sharp already so we're going to switch over to the 200s and I'm going to go ahead and Razor sharp. A couple few more strokes here. Now, take off the four and six hundred stone. And I do have my rag here. Clean that up. Get all the stuff off of it. And I'm just going to do a little stropping here with this. I'll go with the three and a half. And then okay, again, let's check it with the paper. Okay, I don't think I need to say anything else, really. Okay. All right, so stay tuned with me. Okay, so I took the knife out. Let's see what it does. And you can see when I first started, I couldn't even cut anything with this knife. Look at that. And that was over... over uh, what five minutes of sharpening probably about 15 strokes each side with each stone about five minutes and all I did was I did a quick demo with it um, and I didn't strop it that much either I only did about four or five each side with the strop so razor sharp razor sharp so um, if you're uh, looking for a knife sharpener, um, I'm very excited about this one. It uh, works pretty well. I think that uh, I still have some, there's you know still a learning curve in it, but it's not complicated at all. Basically, you clamp the blade in uh, one of the two notches depending on the thickness of the blade. And then you tighten it down. You start with the highest or lowest number of stone, which is the coarse uh, stones. And I'll show you here. This is, uh, let me see, let me get you a close camera angle on this camera view. Um, the the uh, 100s, the uh, 200s. And then the 400s and the 600s. And then, of course, the Micron Straubs. Uh, just a piece of leather, really, for the most part. 
And like I said, I believe uh, you can uh, you can um, order a couple more sets of stones if you wish. Um, but I think really with the the four that it comes with, and I recommend getting the strops. Uh, definitely helps hone that edge to uh, a super super sharp uh, knife. So anyway, um, I recommend this sharpening tool. I've used everything from different stones and whatnot, um, different other devices from Lansky and whatnot, and uh, and you know everything works well, but this was an edge on a knife in a rather fast said uh, the price point on the wicked edge is three hundred dollars two ninety nine I rounded up to three hundred the Markita type base is forty dollars or forty five dollars and then the granted base I believe it's sixty five dollars <clears throat> The two strops that it came uh, that it didn't come with that I sold, uh, purchased separately was forty dollars off of Amazon. Um, you can just type in Wicked Edge and you'll see um, it comes up on Amazon and there's several other places, Motang International. Um, but anyway, I think this is a very good tool for sharpening your tools with. And, uh, you know, highly recommend it. This is Ed, Top of Line Training, with the Wicked Edge Review. Please subscribe to the channel. We'll see you on the next one.